Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a crochet spider. So what you'll need for this is your yarn. I'm just using medium four weight yarn. A crochet hook, I always use 4.5 millimeter hook for this type of yarn, but you can also use a five millimeter hook. Then um, you'll need a stitch marker, your tapestry needle, some fiber fill stuffing, and then you will also need two sets of safety eyes. So it doesn't really matter what the exact size is, um, just like about this size. And then you do wanna make sure that one set of the eyes is slightly smaller than the other. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start by making the head of the spider, which for the first round, we're gonna do six single crochet in a magic circle. So you just wrap your yarn around your finger like that. Make sure the short end is the one that's facing you. And then grab the second loop Pull it under the first and then you've got your magic circle so now we need to put six single crochet in there one two three four five six okay so now I'll pull that circle pretty tight And then you're going to go into the first chain that you made. So usually when I do a magic circle, the first chain is so um, tight and like hard to put my hook through that I just make an extra chain. So I'm going to make an extra chain. So if you do this, it'll technically be seven single crochet in the magic circle. Okay. And then you just go through the first chain that you can, which is technically the second chain. And then you do a single crochet. And then I always just count to make sure I've got six still. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're good. All right, so that was round one. Now for round two, we're gonna do an increase all the way around. So an increase in every stitch. Um, before we do that, I need to mark that stitch. And now uh, to do an increase there, you'll just do another single crochet in the same stitch. And that's all it is. You just do an increase all the way around. All right. So we're at the end of round two. So now we need to take out our stitch marker. Into that stitch, you're gonna do a single crochet and then mark the stitch. And then you're gonna do an increase in the next stitch. And then we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So it's a single crochet single crochet increase and you keep going until you have 18 stitches. Okay, now we're at the end of round three. So for round four, you're gonna take out the stitch marker, put a single crochet there, and then replace your stitch marker. And then in the next stitch, you're gonna do another single crochet. And then in the stitch after that, you're gonna do an increase. And for the rest of this round, it's just uh, two single crochet, and then an increase. So single crochet, single crochet, increase until you get 24 stitches. Okay, so now we are at the end of round four, and now for rounds five through seven, you're gonna do just 24 single crochet all the way around. So for three rounds, you just do a single crochet. 
and I'm gonna do this part off camera um, and I'll get back to you when we are at the end of round seven. Okay. Now we are at the end of round seven, so we're going on to round eight. Um, so take out your stitch marker and then do a single crochet in that stitch. Replace the stitch marker. Now we need another single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to do a decrease. So you go through and you have two loops on the hook, but before you yarn over, you go through that next stitch, pull up a loop so that you have three loops on the hook. Then you yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, so we're gonna follow that pattern for the rest of this round. So it's two single crochet and then a single crochet decrease until you have 18 stitches in total. Okay, so now we are at the end of round eight. So moving on to round nine, you're gonna do a single crochet in the first stitch. Replace the stitch marker and then a decrease right after that. Okay, so we follow the same pattern. We do a single crochet, then a decrease until you have 12 stitches in total. Okay, so now we are at the end of round nine. So at this point, I like to um, add the eyes. So, for that, um, I'm not really the type of person that like counts the exact row to see exactly where I'm putting the eyes. I just kind of guesstimate and hope for the best, honestly. So, if this is the, you know, where the front of your spider, think about where you want the eyes. So I would say the first eyes that I'm going to do, I want them like kind of out where you can see, not like right here, you know, if they're straight forward, then you're not going to be able to see them when the spider is just like laying on a table or something. So I'm going to put the first eyes like right here on this row, which from the bottom, I would say is like between row three and four, I think. Um, so you'll just put them there, kind of place them, and then maybe put them like four or five stitches apart. So like right there. And then, you know, if you don't like that, you can kind of put them up higher. Which maybe I'll do that. Okay. All right. And then with the smaller eyes, I'm gonna put those kind of diagonal to the bigger ones. So just kind of above them, near them, just like uh, diagonal from them. Just make sure it kind of looks like, I usually like to, with my finger, like draw a line to make sure I'm getting it, you know, in the right placement and that it makes sense. Okay, so. That may not be exactly, exactly the same placement on each side, but I think it's pretty close. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the backings on the eyes. And these types of uh, safety eyes, if you don't know where to buy them, I have had a lot of trouble finding them in stores. So I just ordered them online. You can find them everywhere online but for some reason like Michael's and places like um you know Joann's and craft stores I can never find them there okay so you got your eyes and um you can start stuffing at this point but honestly I'm probably gonna do the next round before I start that so let's go ahead and move on to round 10 so just put your 
hook back through. Now for round 10, it's just a decrease all the way around. So you just need to get to six stitches. Um, so you'll just do a decrease the entire way around. The first decrease you do, um, you wanna make sure to remember to put your stitch marker. Okay, I'm not completely done with round 10, but I'm kind of running out of space here, so I'm gonna go ahead and start stuffing. Okay, so we're at the end of round 10. Um, you should have six stitches. Now for this, um, this is just what I like to do. You could go through these and like keep making decreases until there's not like a gap like that. But um, what I do, or what I'm gonna do this time anyway, is just go ahead and cut the yarn. And for the head also, you do need to leave a long end because we're gonna use it to sew it onto the rest of the body. So just keep that in mind. So we have a pretty long end. And then you will just pull this out. Okay. So then you're gonna get your tapestry needle And then just kind of thread it through these stitches right here until it closes all the way. So I just kind of go through two at a time. That's pretty good so I'm gonna leave it there and then with this end I'm just gonna go ahead and thread that through to get rid of it And that is the head of the spider. So now we're gonna go on to make the body. So for the body of the spider, it starts pretty much the same exact way as the head. So you do your magic circle. You need six single crochet. Okay, and then tighten the magic circle up like this. And then go into that first stitch. Oops. The first stitch. If you need to make an extra stitch, you can. Just make sure you still have six. Okay, so this is gonna be the beginning of round two. Round two um, is just six single crochet all the way around. Okay, so now round three, put a single crochet in that stitch. And then this is gonna be an uh, increase. So you'll put another single crochet in the same stitch and it's gonna be an increase all the way around. So um, just six single crochet increases until you have 12 stitches.
Okay. So now we're gonna go on to round four. So the first stitch is a single crochet and every stitch after that is a single crochet. So just 12 single crochet all the way around. So for round five, you're going to put your hook through the first chain and then um, the chain, the next chain is going to be an increase and we're going to follow that pattern. So it'll be single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase all the way around until you have 18 stitches. So now that we're at the end of round five, at the end of round five, we're going to put a single crochet in that first stitch, and then um, if you don't notice, this is kind of following a pattern. So for round six, we're going to do a single crochet all the way around um, until you still have 18 stitches. Okay, so now we are at the beginning of round seven. So in the first stitch, you're gonna do a single crochet. The next stitch is also a single crochet. And then the next stitch is an increase. So for the rest of this round, it's gonna be two single crochet and then an increase until you have 24 stitches. Okay, so now for round eight, it's just going to be a single crochet in every stitch, and you'll still have 24 stitches. Alright, so now we're at the end of round eight. So for round nine, it's going to start with a single crochet. And then you're going to do another single crochet, another single crochet, and then an increase. And you're going to follow that pattern the entire way around. So three single crochet and one increase until you have 30 stitches. All right, so we're at the end of round nine now, and for the next four rounds, so for rounds 10 through 13, you're just going to do a single crochet all the way around. So we're gonna do four rounds of 30, um, and then at the end of round 13, I'll meet you back for round 14 um, and show you where to go from there. So we're at the end of round 13. I've done the four rows of 30. Um, and now we are going to go on to row 14, which we'll start with a single crochet. And then you're gonna do another single crochet and another single crochet. And then you're gonna do a decrease. So you go through that stitch, pull up a loop, go through the next stitch, yarn over, pull through all three. So for the rest of round 14, you're gonna do three single crochet and a decrease, 
until you have 24 stitches. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to round 15. So put a single crochet in the first stitch, replace your stitch marker, and then you're gonna do two single crochet and a decrease. So single crochet right there, and then a decrease. And you're gonna follow that same pattern the whole way around, two single crochet, one decrease, until you have 18 stitches. All right, now we're on to round 16. So put a single crochet in the first stitch, replace the stitch marker, and then you're gonna do a decrease after that. So for the rest of this round, you just do single crochet and then a decrease, and uh, in total, you should have 12 stitches. Okay, so now you have 12 stitches. Um, before we do the final round, I'm going to go ahead and stuff the body of the spider. Okay, so after you've stuffed your spider, now you need to just do a decrease all the way around, which will be our final round. And you should have six stitches at the end of this round. Okay, and when you're doing the final round, since we've already stuffed it, you might notice that some of the filling is like kind of pulling up when you're um, going through the stitches, that's fine. I mean, after you are totally done making it, you can just kind of go through and get out any um, pieces of the fiber fill that may be like kind of sticking out. So don't worry too much if that happens. Oh, and then after that first decrease, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my stitch marker. So now we're going to end this the same way we ended the head. So just cut off the yarn and you don't need to leave a super long end um, for this. You can just, you know, cut off like a shorter end. Uh, just enough so that you can weave it through um, to tighten this gap right here. And we'll do that the same way we did the head as well. Okay, now we are going to go on to the assembly. So, get your head that we made earlier and we're going to stick it on here like that. Um, so, with your tapestry needle, get the end of this long yarn that we kept on the head of the spider. Oh. 
if you've seen my other videos, you know how much I hate threading the thread through this needle. Um, okay, so now there's no exact science to this. You just kind of weave through both parts until, and you go kind of all the way around until it's, you know, secure and on there. So I'll show you how I do like the first couple of stitches. Um, I just kind of place it on there and then kind of go through like the body of it, go through a couple stitches, pull it out. And I just really keep doing that the entire way around. Um, I'll just go in through the head of the spider, go through a couple stitches of the body and then pull the needle out and I just keep going like that all the way around until it is secure. So now the head is on there and we just need to get rid of this long end of yarn. Um, so anytime you make anything that is stuffed like this, it's super easy to get rid of the yarn. You just go through um, a stitch that's right near where your yarn's coming out and then you go through the entire like body of work. So you go through the stuffing in the middle and then just pull out from a random stitch. And then you pull kind of tight on it, cut it, and then it disappears within the stuffing. Okay, so now we are going to go on to make the legs. So for the legs, you need to make four longer legs and then four shorter legs. So I'm gonna start with the longer legs. So you start with a magic circle. It starts the same way as the other two parts of this video. You put six single crochet in the magic circle. Then I'm going to go ahead and make an extra stitch just because I know I'm not going to go into the very first stitch. Um, all right. Okay, so then go into first or second stitch depending on how you did it. Just make sure you end up with six. And then a single crochet right there. And then you're going to put your stitch marker in that very first stitch of round two. And then um, round two is just going to be six single crochet in every stitch and actually for the next four rounds you're just going to be doing a single crochet in every stitch so it's going to be six single crochet for rounds two through five um, and then uh, I'll meet you at the beginning of round six which will be a little bit different okay so we've done four rounds of six single crochet so now for round five you're going to do an increase in that first stitch So do the single crochet and work it and then do another single crochet in the same stitch and then you're going to do two single crochet after that and then we're going to do that one more time so an increase and then two single crochet So now you're going to take out your stitch marker and into that first, uh, or actually in the first two stitches, you're going to make a decrease. And then mark that stitch. And then do two single crochet. And then do another decrease and then another two single crochet. Okay. All right, so now um, you should still have six at this point. You're gonna take out your stitch marker, do a single crochet, replace your stitch marker. And now for the next four rounds again, we're just gonna do six single crochet. So for rounds eight through 11, it's still just a single crochet in every stitch. 
and at the end of the next four rounds you should still have six single crochet okay so now we are at the end of round 11 so now you just need to do a, uh, or not a single crochet a slip stitch into that next stitch just like that and then um, I'm gonna leave a long end on this leg so you're gonna make four of these um, just make them the exact same way you need four in total and two of those you're gonna need to leave a long end on so just remember that when you um, make two of them you need to leave a long end on them and then the other two you can just um, you know tie the or weave it through and tie the ends off okay so I'm gonna go ahead and make the next three legs off camera and then I will meet you back and we will make the four shorter legs so the shorter legs are very similar to how we made the longer legs you're just doing less rounds um, so you're gonna go ahead and start do your magic circle all that um, I'll probably speed through this part just because it's just six single crochet into the magic circle okay so for round one you're gonna do a single crochet in that first stitch and for the next three rounds you just do a single crochet in every stitch and you should still have six stitches okay so we're at the end of round four now so for round five it's gonna be a similar thing to what we did for the longer legs so you're gonna do uh, increase in the first stitch And then two single crochet. And then another increase. And another two single crochet. And at this point you should have eight stitches. And then four rounds, let's see, would be round six. We're gonna do a decrease. A single crochet another single crochet a decrease again so. and then two single crochet again and that should get you back to six and now we are going to do another four rounds of six single crochet so for rounds eight through eleven it's just a single crochet in every stitch and i'll meet you at the end okay we are done with the shorter legs so you don't need to leave um a long tail on any of the short legs you can just uh, go ahead and end that and then just weave it through um and then our next part will be the assembly Okay, so for the assembly, how you're gonna group the legs together is take two of each of the legs and put them um, on either side. This is just how I do it. So these are two longer legs and make sure you have one of them that has the long end. And in between the two longer legs are two of the shorter legs. And for each side, you'll need the same thing. So just make sure you have um, one of the longer legs that has the you know long end on it for both sides and then I'm going to start with this side so you're going to get your tapestry needle and make sure that you have the open ends of the legs all on the same side and that they're all like equally lined up together like that And then this is how I do it. I just go through the tops to kind of close the open end. Go through all four of them, which just make sure you're kind of going through both sides of each one. And then yeah, that's the opened end. 
All right, so just run the yarn through all four like that. This just kind of makes it easier to me um, than like attaching all four of the legs to the spider. You can just kind of attach all four at once. Um, and then I like to go through that again just to make sure it is really secure. Okay, so now when you're assembling the legs on the spider, you kind of just want to do it in between like the head and the body. Um, and if it goes a little bit onto the body, that's fine. Just really however you think it looks best. So if I place the spider right here, I feel like this kind of looks good. So I'm gonna try to get it matched uh, as close to that as I can. And the way you would attach these is the same way that we attach the head to the body. You just kind of go through these and the body at the same time and onto like, you go into the space where you want the legs to be. And then um, you just keep weaving it through like that. And you can go through as many times as you need to um, until it looks, you know, the way you want it to look. So I'm gonna do this part off camera. Um, because it's just going to be the same exact thing for every side, or for both sides, I mean. Um, and then I'll meet you back at the end. Guys, and that is it. Your spider should look like this now. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I have a few other, like, Halloween, fallish themed videos on my channel if you want to check that out. And I would appreciate it so, 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 so much if you would like and subscribe. And if you have any feedback or if you made this and want to let me know in the comments, please do. Um, but that is it for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.